up YouTube, it's Monique back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a review on the TV show Power, Season 5, Episode 2. This review is going to be in no particular order, it's just going to be my opinions and what I remember happening. <laughs> Alright, it starts off with Tasha being in Raina's room. Of course, she's a grieving mother, she's trying to get comfort wherever she can. And you know, Ghost, Tommy, and Cannon, basically now they have to you know, take down the Jimenez cartel because of some wrongdoing Tommy did. So basically, he messed up in some sort of drug arrangement and some people got killed. Um, let's see, Tasha reached out to Angela in the last episode because she's basically asking for some help. So, you know, of course, Angela is trying to cover her own ass. So what she did was she logged into the computer system and she deleted the gun that was in the system so it wouldn't um, link back to Ghost and Tasha and everybody else. So I'm sure now she's feeling guilty because she's thinking like she could lose her career over this. And let's see what else happened. So, you know, Tyreek, he's feeling guilty because his sister Raina died because of him. Because basically he was trying to be this big thug. He was trying to do things like his father Ghost. He was trying to live that life when he can't really live that life because that's not in him. So... I'm sure he's feeling a little guilty, but he decided to text Dre and let him know that like trouble was coming his way. That's why Dre got out of there. But you know, Ghost, he's trying to take down Dre. Like that's the last thing he wants to do. He wants to take down Dre and then he wants to leave this whole drug murder type of life that he was living. Um, let's see what else happens. What is your name? Joe Proctor used to be Ghost and Tommy's attorney, I believe. So right now he's facing like this, I gotta read the paper, you guys, this bar hearing. So he's trying to get his lawyer license back, but it's not really looking too good, but you know, he's doing what he has to do so he can try to get it back. Um, Ghost has been calling Angela because I guess he wants to, I don't know if he wants to mend the relationship, or just make amends but he's been calling her and Angela hasn't been answering that's surprising because you know she's a homewrecker so I'm just surprised she hasn't answered I'm surprised they haven't gotten back together you know they're just such a lovely couple to some people like I basically I can't stand her so um what else happened Cannon was spying on I think it was the Jimenez cartel I could be wrong but he's trying to, you know, you know, look out, I guess. Keep an eye on what's happening so he can tell Ghost and Tommy. Because they're really trying to take down the Jimenez cartel. Um, what else happened? You know, Tasha feels like she needs to talk to someone. So Tasha and Ghost, they went to this, this support group. I guess it was um, families that had lost, you know, kids to violence or whatever reasons. So there was this one couple that explained that um, their son got ran over by a drunk driver. And then when the speaker said, does anyone else have anything else to say, anything they would like to share? Tasha was about to raise her hand, but then Ghost, you know, he covered her hand like, don't say anything. So then when he drove her home, he was basically like, you know, you don't need to tell them anything because he doesn't want them to tell Excuse me. He doesn't want Tasha to, you know, speak on what happened because he doesn't want to get Tyreek in trouble or anyone in trouble. He just feels like if she speaks to someone, it's all going to be over for them. Like, they're all going to go down. But I understand, like, she needs to talk about it. It's probably, like, eating her alive inside. She just needs to vent. It's probably killing her on the inside. Um, And basically, at the end of the episode... Ghost is sitting in his car. He's drinking. I'm hoping he doesn't develop like a drinking problem. So then he sees the guy that ran over the child, the one that talked about in the support group. So he goes up to the guy when he's walking to his car. He was like, you, you know, you shouldn't be drinking and driving. And the guy's basically like, mind your business. And he was like, didn't you kill a kid, you know, doing that? And then he said, I don't even know the kid or something like that. So then Ghost comes up behind him and just starts stabbing him. He stabs him to death. So then I'm like, this is one more murder under your belt. Like, I'm wondering what's going to happen in the next episode. So I don't know. Like, Power is really good. I love Power. You know, I love 50 Cent. 
So it's it's a very interesting show. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you tune in. So I'm looking forward to the next episode. I hope you all enjoyed this review. I know it was like all over the place because some things I remember, some things I didn't remember. This is my first review, so if I decided to do another one, hopefully it will go better. But if you haven't watched this episode, I just spoiled it for you. <laughs> But I'm going to put spoiler alerts in the description, so you can't blame me now. But it was a really good episode. I'm sure I missed a few things. Let's see. Did I say Dre feels like he's this big old gangster, like he runs everything? I think in the end, I think in the end, um, Ghost is going to kill him. I'm not sure, like when this is going to happen, but he's going to have to because Dre's going to kill him. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, I believe I said everything. Okay, well, hopefully you enjoyed this random review. All right, look forward to the next one if I post one. Bye, guys. <laughs>